By the way, I mean, you know, people associate population growth with energy consumption growth, which is correct, but it isn't the dominant variable in what drives energy uh, growth and the need for more energy is not so much population, but the, the growth in wealth creation. So if you have population growth in a dominantly rural agrarian circumstance, such as a developing nation in the rural circumstance, I mean, an, the addition of another person into that circumstance does not consume a lot more energy. But the minute a person from a rural agrarian circumstance moves into a city, their energy consumption, by my measure, goes up about 20 times, minimum, minimum. And if they go into, you know, it's like a North American context where we t tend to be bigger in everything that we, our appliances, whether it's from refrigerators to vehicles, you're talking 30 to 40 times. And so the, d the dominant factor over the course of the last couple of decades has been the urbanization of China. I mean, people in China moving from that rural agrarian context into the city and the incredible development and expansion of their cities. So, you know, necessarily you say, well, where's the energy coming from to support this rapid migration and wealth creation? 